Hello everybody and welcome to the Pro Play Games hosted One Piece Treasure Cup here in Miami, Florida. My name is Matt Sublett. I am joined by Stephen Abbott for round one. Stephen, how are you feeling about today? All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and get into the gameplay. They're getting started right now. So we're going to switch on over and see that we have Luffy versus Luffy. Now, a oh. mirror match okay. round one. Starting out with a mirror match today. Yeah, very, very interesting. I think Luffy is going to win round one. <laughs> sure to say. Yep. All right, so we're going to see the players go ahead and do their mulliganing, and we already see a manga shanks wow, on okay. the on uh, the left side here, the person on the left side, Ryan Miller with the manga shanks in his opening hand, kept it. Okay, so Luffy, are you are you looking to go first or second in the Luffy mirror match, Steven? What do you, what do you think? Uh, wow, it really just depends on your play style. Um, I typically like to go first when I'm playing. It uh, gives you that extra field. Yeah, absolutely. So we see the um, regular Luffy plays Nami turn one, very solid, very solid uh, opening. So, gonna look at these options. See, we got Zoro as an option. We're gonna take the Zoro. Good Nami, good. Nami right often on, gets that Zoro. Yeah, playing right on curve there. Oh yeah, absolutely. Next turn, we might even see that Zoro coming down. So now going second here, uh, we could see a couple things. We could see some choppers, some Namis. We could just see a pass. That's a possibility as well, which we just so. did. No, we did. We, we did just see a pass. Now. Oh, two two dawn open pass. Okay. Now Red Hawk is uh is in his hand. So are we gonna see the use of a Red Hawk? Okay, we're gonna take this. Take the life. Get the take extra the life. card yep, advantage. Absolutely. All right. And then uh, thinking about the Zoro, and we're gonna just go ahead and play that Zoro down. We've got the leader's effect to go ahead and attach a dawn to the yep, Zoro thanks. and swing for six. And we are, in fact, going to see a Red Hawk come down and take the Nami out. That's okay. one less attacker, potentially. Yeah, later in the game, those Namis really stack up. The extra extra character is on the battlefield. Uh, super powerful in the mid-game. Absolutely. cleaning up your opponent's Nami is also really powerful. Oh, absolutely. And because of the leader effect, you can always just attach a Don to that Nami for free after you've used it. So, okay. We've got uh, tap four. We might see a Law come down into a leader swing on the Zora, and that's exactly what we're going to see. Yep. yep. And so we've got uh, six on three here. So it, there's a good chance that Zoro goes down, and it does. And that's very important because we see uh, tempo has been restored to the Luffy that went second. Yeah. So so that that 5k of body on the battlefield is going to be really powerful pressuring uh, opponent Zoros. Um, even even donning it up and, and attacking oh, yeah. into Luffy is really powerful. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's difficult to remove. Yeah. To um, outside of like a jet pistol. Red doesn't have the hard I don't removal. Know that you jet have to... pistols what you want to see against a law. Oh though. no, very no, no, powerful. No, no, no. It's dodging red hawks. It's dodging jet pistols. Yep. Um, and you've got a solid attacker every turn. Absolutely, absolutely. That law could just live on the board law for quite was a while. Excellent tempo. Was. Get to value trade off the Zoro yeah. and get a bigger body on the board. And, and what you're doing is work to uh, remove the cards that cost a bit too much for this match. Have like your low. Absolutely, we do see. We do see another damage going to three. Chopper. Yep. Down. So the unfortunately they have forgotten about the dice here. Uh, Luffy on the left is at three life, not four. Okay. All right. We see a chopper come down, and then we see a promo Luffy come down. Now, that's very interesting. Normally this promo Luffy is used for its counter power. So that's a two K power coming on the back. That is. That is. I. So our opponents just trying whatever they can to be mana efficient here. Um, and, Don efficient. And, yeah. Don efficient and trying to keep tempo. Absolutely. So we're just trying to maintain that tempo. Not getting attacked means that the, the hand is very low here. It looks like about four cards in hand. Uh, it does appear to be a Red Hawk as one of them, though. Pretty nice. So the, the Luffy player that's at three life, a little bit lower, but is having a bit more control card advantage here. Absolutely is. Kind of a tempo swing back as the other. Yep. So we see... Oh, and they're correcting the dice. Very nice. So... Now, an interesting thing he could have done was attach two Don to the Law to play around a Jet Pistol off the life. But at least he did swing with Law first yeah. to potentially at least somewhat play around As it. As a Luffy player, I think that's even more important to uh, recognize those. Absolutely. And we, we could see five drop Luffy come down, attach a Don with leader effect, and attach the remaining Don to not be able to be blocked. That is something that is on the table this turn for sure see just another five swing at the lead will we counter out of it though that's the question we will with a two interesting okay so two, two of the promo luffy's 
Yeah. Kind of explains why I put one on the battlefield. It does. It does. All right. And we, we do, in fact, see five drop Luffy come down. And we've got the, the leader effect attaching a Don to it. That's now a 7K. Still going to be giving Jet Pistol a little value here. Yeah. Uh, but we are pressuring our opponent. We should we see a block there? That, that, that's an interesting question. That Luffy can, in fact, be blocked. Mm -hmm. And it might have been a, a decent block. Well, having his Nami removed early kind of uh, pressures him into a situation many attackers as possible yeah. later on. It, it's possibly that uh, he's kind of thinking long term and, hey, this chopper threatens a block when I get a little bit, but also it threatens it as, as an attacker, so. Absolutely. Getting a little bit creative. Absolutely. And the Don on the Luffy, very nice, not just for damage, but to play around a jet pistol in the life too. Uh, now the, the Luffy on the right is struggling a bit for board here. Like the um, so far, not uh, not a, not an impressive series of cards played. Jet pistol no, on the Luffy, Jet very Luffy. very dawn efficient. Mm -hmm. Very good to see. That's a lot better of a target than the law. Yes, it is. Yes, absolutely. It and does yeah. unfortunately take a lot of the turn up though. It does, but his chopper is a bit more powerful. Haven't mm -hmm. done that. Okay, so we see a five swing here. I believe he's swinging on the law. Which would be a very large tempo swing if he could take the board back this turn. Yeah. But we see a Nico Robin will Counting be exchanged up. to keep it. Okay, big swing on the law there. Oh yeah, very big. Very big swing here. And the law right. is going down. Very nice. Luffy says, I take that. Yep, yeah. and then we pass with two Don up for a Red Hawk. Okay, now I'm, I'm very curious if the Luffy on the left is going to play around that Red Hawk. It seems we're, like he has. We're going been. to eight dawn, so really, it's it's time for some gas from the Luffy on the left side here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. the The board has switched back now, thanks to that jet pistol. The jet pistol really helped, kind of take this board back home. So we're gonna go ahead and see the Luffy goes down here. Which is understandable. It's very difficult to protect that. You don't want to sacrifice your your cheap blockers for that. No, no, not at all. Okay, we're gonna see tap. Seven for Ben Beckman. Okay, so that that's pretty telling. His, that he's is. playing the, the bigger side of Luffy here. Ben, very... Beckman, ben Beckman is going to be a very difficult to remove. Yes, he is. Yes, a 7-9. A so Otama Jet Pistol doesn't even do it. Correct. You're going to need a little bit more than that. And no. that, that 9K body just lives on the board. A lot of these deck lists are playing one round table, so that might be mm -hmm. one answer to it. But that the is true. Round table is going to have a lot of value taking down Shanks. It is. And okay, so we're gonna we're gonna see a five swing at least. Understandable. So, understandable. So Ben is a big body, but what's also uh, what I have the ability to just attack your leader yeah. and ignore it. Yep. So I have one chopper uh, secured for the bin. Mm -hmm. uh, let's just go face and see what happens. Absolutely, absolutely. We can just just avoid Beckman entirely here. He could do a damage. Oh, Robin in his hand. Okay. Will come. Uh. Looks like we're going to tap 9 Don. I believe Shanks is coming down okay, now. Okay, so that's a big body in response to the And bin. no attack. Very interesting. Possibly we're going to... protecting an attack on the Shanks. Potentially. indicates to the opponent, hey, I don't have a lot of counter power in my hand, or I'm holding Red Hawks, and I'm just going to wait until next turn where yeah. I have two Red Hawks open. Absolutely. The, the Shanks was too vulnerable to swing with there. Yeah. Because you've got I, I Beckman, you've got Shanks as well. Right now we're seeing both players basically even on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's just going to be who can land their bomb and stick it. That's probably going to be the. Yep. And so we see that Shanks, much like Beckman, can just be ignored. Okay, countering out, he says, I'm at three life and this is where I want to stay. Yep. Very happy to stay at three life. Don't really want to go to two. It's going to be dicey on those later turns. They do. So we see a hesitant swing with the Beckman there. And it's because the Shanks now on the board threatens the Beckman. Yep. And it's very difficult for Luffy to protect the Beckman with a blocker because of Shanks. And now next turn, it's going to be, uh, the Shanks player can attack the bin. Ooh. Okay, Ooh. all right, and it's Ooh, the Manga the Shanks. Manga Shanks, that's, Manga Shanks not even joking around anymore. We, we have come down and we have said, I am dealing one damage now, to you. Suddenly things don't look so great for the uh, Luffy <laughs> on the right side as he stares down Ben and Shanks. Yes, yes, absolutely, and. But this is, a, this is kind of a battle of boss monsters. It's a kaiju fight. A kaiju fight. A kaiju yeah. fight. Yeah, absolutely. And we do see we see Luffy Law in the Luffy player on the right hand. Uh, so five drop Luffy and that four drop Law. We saw four drop Law put in a lot of value earlier. It could easily come down here and shrink Beckman to a seven. 
and then leader effect on the shanks and go 11 into makes, the seven that will probably take a it lot down. cleaner and you yeah. and you wind up with a 5k body on the battlefield for next absolutely so i okay now we're going to go after shanks instead it's a little bit harder to defend but a little he bit. has been poking his opponent his opponent has been discarding those mm -hmm. 1k counters so maybe it's a little bit harder for the luffy player on the left here to bend yeah. that shanks absolutely the Shanks is, of course, a higher value we're target going, because now we're going eleven on the Shanks. We're gonna have to go one 12. more. Yeah, we have to go twelve on the eight. Four is where we want to be at to take it down, and that's Perfect. exactly what happens. Very nice. Battlefields has swung back in favor. It has, and we're gonna see. We have five Don remaining. We could attach some of that to our leader and try to do a damage. It's probably not gonna work out all that well if we were to put all of it to try to clear the Beckman. Okay. Okay, so got Zoro, just a casual 5k. Very nice. That's and that's going at the leader here. Yep. And the and the objective here is really to whittle your opponent's resources. It is. Like you're you're more than happy to see your opponent discard a card from He's their hand. He's not really for playing this. around the jet pistol here. Clean up some of his battlefield, but I think that's okay because he's using Don more efficiently, and yeah. he's going to be really. The goal is not to take life with mm -hmm. these swings. It's absolutely. I mean, a jet pistol here would be quite ridiculous off of the life, but... <laughs> that would be a swing. It would be. It would be. But we're still staring down a Shanks, a 5k, and another 5k. That is true. We still have another leader swing here. Yep. The law Shanks can't swing across. this turn, but next turn he certainly can. And we're leaving Red Hawk uh, Dawn open, yes. so... Signaling a massive swing in the... Yep. That law now, minus on the Shanks was very... It was. It was. Now, we could potentially see the Luffy on the left just go for it. Opponent's at two. He yep. has only two attackers. So that would be kind of hard. Well, rush is a keyword that Red has. Absolutely. Yeah. We could see him try because he's he's losing the board fast at this point. At this point, it is very difficult for him to attack the board back. Mm -hmm. he, he certainly could, though. We could see an Otama and a Shanks come down and really just spin things around. So it, with Tendon, you Otama, you Shanks. Now you put that Shanks at 8. You can go 10 with your Shanks on his Shanks. Your opponent has to counter two cards to get out of it, minimum. Then you can put one Don on your Beckman with your Luffy effect. Swing on the Shanks again. It goes down. Then you swing 5 on the Zoro. Yeah. And so, I, I think what we're seeing is the player thinking through that line. Yeah. Is it better to just go face, or is it is it better to use my resources uh, attack the battlefield? Yeah. And we do see a jet pistol in the uh, Luffy on the left's hand. So the, the Luffy player is also uh, at two life, so it's a little bit dicey for him. To go, it but is. He will be turning his Ben Beckman sideways, which could act like a blocker uh, in this case, drawing uh, just too much attention from the ship. Yep. Um, and then it looks pretty clean. Yes. And with, with the two down up, it is a telegraphed Red Hawk. And so he's yes. taking into account the fact that that's, that's 4K. That's yes. a lot. Very difficult to, to clear things like that it's very difficult to get over uh the characters here but not so difficult to get over a 9k body if it's your leader that's true that's very true so we do see the otama in the hand now we could just go beckman into zoro and pretty much guarantee the zoro's down and then we could jet pistol the law yeah, and i don't think he would want to defend the zoro too hard no i don't think so I think the Shanks is the thing he wants to defend. I yeah. think if you go Beckman into Zoro, you take out the Zoro. Absolutely, you should be defending the Shanks here. It's just so easy. Okay. Yeah, it is. But with the Jet Pistol in hand, I mean, he could very easily clear two of the three threats on the board. Okay, so we're going to see so at the Zoro. That exact yep, thing. that's exactly what we're seeing. I, I think this is a very solid play. You're tempting the opponent to use Red Hawk, but they're going to have to discard another card to do it. They're going to have to counter. Clean this out. Yep. And at this so, point, if you're at two two life, you're kind of looking to hold that red hawk yeah. to both clear a, a creature on the battlefield and also and stay alive and stay alive, <laughs> which is very important, very very important. All right, are we going to see the jet pistol on the law? It looks like we might. We're gonna see four for the jet pistol on the law. One. Yep, very nice, very nice. Now we're back to that battlefield of two large monsters. Mm -hmm. We are. Now we still have six Don and a leader attack. We could. We could very easily push a little bit of damage this turn or make the opponent burn that Red Hawk. Now, making the opponent burn the Red Hawk this turn means they're not going to use that 2-Don defensively. They might use it offensively, which could make things more difficult. Another resource exchange which has just been the hallmark mark of this matchup so far. Yep. Okay, we're going to see oh, a Luffy. Okay. okay. And we're going to see the leader effect, put a Don on the Luffy. 
now your now your red hawk red hawk does look better to play it does here. it absolutely does above zero yep and that's that's great um and I, I i believe exchanging a red hawk for the 7k swing is is definitely very absolutely. nice yeah you have another 6k coming out but you might be holding a 2k yes that's true you might actually get out pretty clean this turn Right. You might only lose two cards in hand, which isn't too bad at all. You do have Shanks to try to take the board back if you want to. Or you have Shanks to go for, you go do. for game yourself. You do, yeah. It is a possibility. We're going to see... Okay, so we see a Beckman counter. Both players on Beckman. Very interesting. I do like Beckman. I like Yasop as well. Yasop over the Beckman? Yasop over the Beckman, yeah. All right, so we do see the Red Hawk come down on the Luffy. Pretty clean. Pretty clean. Now, we've seen that one Don left up by Luffy this whole time. You think there's a guard point or a Frankie Radical beam? I think he's certainly bluffing at, a, at it, the very least. At the very least. He's signaling that. Okay, we just saw the Nami draw. That's a good draw. That's <laughs> exactly what we wanted that, to see the entire game. That Nami could be anything. Two choppers, okay. Red Hawk, Red Hawk? Zoro, and a Zoro, okay. and a Robin. Nico Robin. I, I, I'm telling I you, I've never seen Zoro. Nami not find a Zoro. Yeah. He's thinking about it right now, so... It's got to be between... He's got great options. Well, I mean, a, Red Hawk is an excellent option here. He's still, well, he's also still at two life left. Mm -hmm. And he says, Bin kind of stumbles over this chopper. little chopper. So maybe, maybe instead of the Zoro swings, I have my leader. I'm good. Mm -hmm. uh, let me just kind of stumble you for a little while. Absolutely. I mean, are you going to jet pistol this chopper? And, and that's you what you ask your opponent. doing that you if that's what's getting in your way here. But yeah, absolutely. It's certainly not going to be efficient. It, it definitely is pretty safe from the Beckman. Like the, without a Robin on the board, it's going to be hard to remove that chopper without just it getting value. Robin has been, the boards have been very hostile towards a Robin here. They have. They have been very hostile towards a Robin. Uh, we've and seen for, Robin countered constantly. For two of the, uh, you know, quoted aggressive decks in the, in the format today, um, this battlefield has been clogged with absolute gigantic characters. It has. This has felt like a very mid-range game. It has been, and it's yeah. really played out that way, too. It has. And both players understanding the matchup very well, being very patient. Go for the board. You can't let things snowball out of control. Yes. Like, this this has been an excellent... It's been a tight game. It has. It's an excellent both players way know to open this tournament. And they kind of approached life-taking differently, but they ended up in the same yep. spot, so... Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. Okay, so uh, we're still thinking here. What are we going to do now? Are we going to play a five-drop Luffy? Are we going to try and take this board back? We took the chopper, so there is definitely a chance that we're thinking there's another turn for the opponent here. Now, you have the chopper. Does that mean that you're going face and you're trying to just defend against attackers um, and trying to stumble your opponent? That's an interesting question and definitely a possibility. I think, I think we're going to see our opponents make that decision, our, our players make that choice right now. Yep. I think two more Dawn on the Shanks and the Beckman goes down. It's, that's what he's thinking, too. He, he's thinking, how much more Dawn do I have to put on it's this Shanks? It's really to put this important Beckman to down. actually take down characters when you swing at this point in the game because it is. you cannot waste attacks. Every single one is valuable here. Yep. And so we see, we see that, right. and right to the Beckman. That's the this should be more than enough to take out the Beckman, and it absolutely is. If you are finished is. with your round, please hang out in the hallway outside. Please do not clutter the aisles. Please do not clutter the pathways. If you are done with your match, please go outside. All right. And so we're going to see Luffy come down. Oh, wow, very powerful. Yep. And it's not likely that... Are you just cleaning up the battlefield? It's not likely that the Luffy goes down with this attack, but it did... No yes. counter well, power. we've been poking our opponent for the entire match. So, you know, we just see our opponent wow. out of resources. Wow. And now everything is just flipped on its head. Yes. Unfortunately, it's, and it's that very interesting. chopper grab looks incredibly powerful here. It does. The, the kaiju battle appears to have ended. And now Shanks is the kaiju remaining on the board. Shanks won the day. He did. That Shanks took out, two, he took out a Shanks and a Beckman. Through the course of this game truly the that, value, that shanks has come to save the day it has it has that the value on that one wow and that was a tight play with it too we saw that player even though it does have rush tech mm -hmm. he chose to not use it so that he didn't lose it immediately yep to the bin beckman and props to the bin beckman for really threatening the shanks uh even with <laughs> rush <laughs> yes for sure the tempo shanks was a very high level play yes. that we saw yes. absolutely
understanding that it was in danger. Both players playing really tight here and understanding mm -hmm. how they win this mirror match. Yep. Like, I play this Shanks, and if I don't attack with it, I can attack your character cards. And that's what this Shanks' job is. This Shanks will do a damage one time, but not yet. First, he's going to clear the board. Okay, we see Luffy go down very easily, too. And now we see Well, the player only has Shanks. one card left in their hand, and we do Ooh. believe it's Red Hawk. Yep. So we're going to see Shanks on Shanks. Can't be blocked. That one card left in hand was oh, enough. It's 2K. It was enough. All right. Wow. That was some good foresight, though. Yes. Leave the six, the five drop Luffy. Let it go. Protect the Shanks. You know that he just can't possibly take these Shanks out. Yep. All right. So we see it switch back over. We've got a Shanks. We've got a blocker. But we're staring down a Shanks as well. We're just we're going face. Let's see where this goes. This Nami, it might be time. 5K on the leader. Now, do you swing for more than 5K here? Uh, looks like you didn't have to. Didn't have to. Okay. Didn't so we're, have to. Now, we, now that gives us the option to kind of put Don on our Nami, put Don on the chopper, and attack with those. Yep. Okay, so... Does our opponent take the 10K here? He's thinking about it. He's, he's considering Nami swinging first. You swing with Nami first. You do. I think you do. If you are going if, for if game... If you're going to attack with those, they need to be swung with first absolutely. so that Jet Pistol can't take them out. Absolutely. Now, you could also be concerned about the Red Hawk that might be in the, in the life. It could. Taking yeah. down your Shanks. Mm -hmm. I think if you're going to Shanks on Shanks, you should have done it before swinging the leader. Because absolutely. you've given your opponent now another you card to counter with. Less options, certainly. Mm -hmm. So, but at this stage in the game, I, I don't, I'm not sure that that's correct. No, I, I believe that we're just going for game here. Absolutely. So do we see a counter? We do. A, a 2K counter at that. So now, is it time to just Shanks clear Shanks? Or is this Chopper going to have to earn a paycheck? The Chopper is going to have to earn a paycheck today. <laughs> the Chopper does go. a damage, I, and it's not Red Hawk. That'll do it. All right, a hand there take. we go. Right. Wow. Yes. Absolutely. So we saw fantastic. the battlefield clear up, and then it, from there, it's it's kind of just a walk as you as you control the battlefield for another turn, get comfortable with your dawn open, look for your event cards, um, and then you just take down. Yeah. No. Absolutely. That was a stellar round one. Yeah. Uh, beautiful exchange. Both players knowing the the mirror match very well in and yep. out, understanding what you have to do to win that match, and I think that the tempo Shanks play. Might have been the thing that carried it. Oh, absolutely. That was a knowledgeable player. Both sides of the table really knowing how to play the, the mirror match, which is exceptionally powerful because these really large Ben Beckman builds are actually fairly new to the format. So yep. for players to have that much experience already is just phenomenal.